In this video, we'll find the sufficient statistics for estimating theta given the PDF. Of course, this PDF is from a normal distribution or a normal population. So, how do we go about it? Solution. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. The factorization theory is used in estimating sufficient statistics. So, for a statistics to be sufficient, it must satisfy the criteria. That means it can be factored out into two components. What are the components? From factorization theory, we have this as one component, x1, x2, and xn. This depends on theta and 8x1, x2 to xn. This does not depend on theta. So, for a statistic to be sufficient, it must satisfy this criteria. That means the function given we must be able to put it in a way that it will be in two components like this. So it will satisfy this factorization theory. How do we go about it? Of course, our function is given as 2 pi raised to the power of 1 all over 2 theta raised to the power of 1 all over 2 exponential theta x squared all over x theta. So we have this as our component. The first thing to do is to take the product sum of this or the likelihood function of this. So we we'll say take the likelihood. So it means f of x theta is equal to the product sum of 2 pi raised to the power of 1 all over 2 multiplied by theta raised to the power of 1 all over 2 multiplied by exponential theta x squared all over x theta. Of course, this can be written out properly. So, this theta can cancel this. This x can cancel 1. So, we we'll left it. We move over to this side of the board. x theta to be equal to the product sum, we've not taken it, the product sum of f of x theta which is equal to, we can now write it as copy, the product sum of Two pi raised to the power of one all over two, theta raised to the power of one all over two, exponential x. Of course, this can be written as properly. We can write it as if you are taking the product, so we can still write it as you have to arrange it properly. This is one all over square root of 2 pi multiplied by 1 all over square root of theta exponential x. Now, if we take the product sum of this function, what do we get? If we take the product sum, we we'll get 1 all over square root of 2 pi raised to the power of n multiplied by 1 all over square root of theta raised to the power of n exponential summation of 
x i as i running from one to n in our previous video i have showed you how we can take the product sum of all of these you just to multiply all of them and take it as one so if we do that we get the whole of this so it then means our f of x theta will give us this the next thing to do is to rearrange this properly how do we rearrange it of course if we watch out we have we can write this same thing as two theta into negative n all over two multiplied by theta into negative n all over two exponential summation of as i running from one to n x i we we'll have this and from indices we can combine this to give us 2 pi multiplied by theta raised to the power of n all over 2 plus that means plus negative n all over 2 exponential summation of i running from 1 to n x i so this is what we get and it becomes our x so what do we do to make sure they satisfy the factorization theory that means if we can split it into two components but we have to do this first of course, from indices, we have to note that negative n all over 2, negative n all over 2 is equal to negative n all over, sorry, negative n, negative n all over 2, which is the same thing as negative 2n all over 2. So this can cancel this to give us negative n. So we have to rewrite this properly because we put negative n here. We have to rewrite this properly. I will move over to this other side of the board. So, for more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. We we'll have to rewrite this properly. Now, rewriting it properly, we have our f of x theta to be equal to 2 pi theta raised to the power of negative n. What we have gotten here? Exponential. Summation of x i as i running from one to n. Of course, these as we see they depend on theta. This and this are together. You can now write for we to split it out into two components, two different components. You can write it as this f into this two pi theta raised to the power of negative n exponential summation of x i as i running from 1 to n multiplied by 1 now we have two components this is one component and this is another component why did we say multiply by 1 this is because the whole of these components are together and they depend on theta so if we write out the factorization theory it then means that this 
will depend on this mu x1 x2 to xn theta into this multiplied by h x1 x2 to xn as this does not depend on theta why this depend on theta which can also be written as theta into new summation of as i running from 1 to n xi theta multiplied by h x1 x2 xn of course the mean is a sufficient statistics for estimating theta. Of course, summation of Xi is sufficient statistics for estimating theta. So, this is how we can compute the sufficient statistics for the distribution given. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel.